Okay, guys, this one is going out to Gwen over here. It's Gwen Lewis over here. You know who you are. Just had to get this picture for you on the way into Planet Hollywood because this room tour is dedicated to you, my friend. Not sure why I picked Crazy Girls, but you know what? There are worse places to pick. Let's get started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinach and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So today we are at the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, and we are actually going to go check in, and we're going to try the $20 technique, and we're going to see what sort of crazy room we can actually get. I'll go ahead and put our current room up on the screen here while I look for the hotel lobby. I think it's over this way. So yes, it is this way. That means I gotta cut through the casino over here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what sort of room we can actually get based on our $20 technique. Let's go. All right guys, down we go. Down to the lobby, ikuze. That's Japanese for let's go. See where the check-in line is. That is our check-in line. All right, let's go ahead and uh, cook up a fresh $20 sandwich and see what sort of damage we can do. All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We're at the Seven Stars and Diamond VIP guests only, and we are indeed Diamond level guests, so we're gonna go ahead and chill over here while these nice folks over here take care of us. So let's see what we got going on. Fresh $20 sandwich confirmed. We got the diamond tier confirmed, for sure. All right, Spinners and Sharks, we finally got our room keys over here. This actually got our uh, our main man on him, Gordon Ramsay, over here. Check this out, you flip it around. It's Gordon Ramsay Burger. So we're at uh, 1439 S. I don't know what the S means, so I guess we're gonna find out when we get upstairs. Let's get to the uh, get to the room. We initially booked uh, a king non-smoking, so let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, we're off on the 14th floor here. And we're gonna take an immediate left to get towards our rooms over here. And it's also gonna be a hard right over here. Oddly, just all of our rooms are gonna be on the right side. Not sure where that is. 29 through 1440 is this way. I do hope it's something good. I'm guessing the S meant south. But we're gonna find out. Let's, uh, let's do this. So, one card, Gordon, don't see us wrong. Three, two, one, and okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we have a nice little sitting area over here coming in immediately. Doing the clean air and I can take my mask off finally. So that's good. But yeah, this is one of our first Caesars properties. We got our, uh, I think this is the first Caesars property that's been on the channel. So we've got our open closet here. And I wonder if there's something that turns off the radio over here. Because the radio is going to get us copyright striked. 100% guaranteed. Or your money back. 100%. <laughs> then we open this up over here. And yep, we got our, so we have two closets in this room here. And that's interesting. And we have our ironing board and the iron, of course, too. So there's that second uh, second luggage rack there. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and see here. We do have beer, so I'm hoping that there's a mini fridge. We do have a, a bar area here. Let's take a knee here. Okay, so we do have the safe that looks roughly large enough for a laptop, which is nice. So we'll close that. We do have another one over here, and then there appears to be a fridge. So the mini fridge, let's open it up. And it actually has space in it. Oh my gatos. Oh my gatos. We have a mini fridge that doesn't have garbage in it. There are no garbage shots that are a million dollars a piece and all that. We can put our IPA in here. I'm going to show you the IPA that we're loading in the old Magic Chef over here. Okay, so we have our sitting area here. And then I have our lovely art on the wall, enjoying the clean air. It's a little more modern than most of the MGM properties. And we come in, oh, the bathroom's actually got a little bit of space to it. 
So we have our own separate soaking tub, and as requested by subscribers, we are to drop our room key to demonstrate the depth of the, of the tub. Don't ask why we do this. Just like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go get Gordon out of here so we can continue our tour. Uh, it's a little narrow. I think the tub's a little narrow, but we'll see how that goes. And it's got a shower cap though, so that's nice. And we do have a separate bathroom here, which is pretty dope. And it's a proper water closet, so you can close the whole door here. And then you are uh, you're using the restroom in private. Now, here's, here's a shame here. It looks like the toilet paper hasn't been changed. It's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. But I did like how Wynn had their sealed. Very much like to see. So we have the uh, the toilet over this way and you've got the emergency toilet paper, so that's nice, but this is not sealed like Wynn's was sealed. I think I prefer that, but that's good to know. The Planet Hollywood is not the Wynn. This is for the party, this is for the lols, this is not for the luxury. And you do have this beautiful artwork on the wall here. I feel like this bathroom is uh, it's roughly the same size as Wynn's, so that's pretty cool. And of course you do have a standing shower here. There we go. So you got the standing shower, we come in, and it does have a bench as well too, so we can sit down on the bench. And it's basically anybody's size, and look at that. That is one big shower head, let's stand up. That is proper Ace of Vegas height, okay. So if you're six feet or over, you are pretty much good on the shower head over here. So that's good. Let's have a look at this whole shower one more time. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're clear to sh close the shower door here. And it looks very comfortable, definitely very comfortable for one person or two people if you know what I mean. And then let's bring it back over here. <laughs> and we've got our space that's open for, it's only a single, single sink over here, which is interesting. So this one sink, and then of course you have your, your tissues, you have your face soap over here and all your toiletries. Uh, wow, pleasure sour gel, pleasure body lotion, pleasure conditioner, what's the last one? Pleasure shampoo, of course. It's all pleasure. And then the rest down this way too. Oh, well, hey, look at that, we also have Another E11 Stormtrooper Blaster, better known as a, look at that. So you got a hair dryer, so that's nice. I don't know why you guys let me get away with nonsense like that. It's not a laser, it's a hair dryer. So let's get back out into the actual main living quarters here. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of jams going, oh okay, I see what's going on. So Planet Hollywood shows up and they open you up straight to the television here. Let's see what's going on. Sorry about that guys, I had to avoid the copyright. You can open these up here. So you got your drawers here. Lots of drawers. It's got plenty of space for clothing and then you have your television and all that. And of course we got, so actually, you know, we got some pretty nice windows here. And that's our, that's our view, that is our view. So it kind of goes towards the Aria. A little dirty on the windows, that's on the outside windows, what are you going to do? Partially strip facing. It's theoretically strip facing, but we're just kind of in the wrong part of the property for it to be properly strip, face, strip facing. Strip facing? What is strip facing? And then same deal on this side over here. Uh, on the bright side, yeah, we do have a nice couch over here. And then you have a nice little sitting area here. So that's pretty dope. And let's bring it back to the bed. Most important part of the room, because you have to pass out over here. This is about what we're looking at. Nice modern art here. Very modern, very stylized art. All leather. And, oh, this actually feels kind of soft. So if you're more into soft beds, I think this might be for you. 
Let's see what we got over here for this view. Yeah, we are right back. Oh, hold up. We can actually see a little bit of the pool here, guys. We're going to be down there tomorrow morning. So that'll be uh, whatever day it is. That'll be a Saturday. We're going to go down there. That's going to be the start of October. And we'll actually be down there. And we'll see what it looks like for real. So stand by for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll go ahead and see what the real pool area is like. I remember that the pool area at Planet Hollywood was always kind of hopping. So we're going to see if that, uh, if that sticks. And we even got the hot tub over there. So that's pretty dope. You got your plant. Or got your plants. Got your lamps. I meant to say lamps, not plants outlets and everything so we're pretty much set over here all right Smithers and sharks well that is it this is the entire room from planet hollywood no resort fees not a bad deal and for a weekend it's actually not a bad deal can't uh, can't hurt it's not a bad way to about going things you got all your pro appropriate lamps you got your uh, wow, that is a big vent over here. I hope that doesn't keep me up at night. I might have to turn down the AC so it doesn't keep me up, but we'll see what happens. Not a bad size room over here. I think it's a good uh, 500 square feet, maybe 400, but it's pretty comfortable. I think I can work with it. Not quite as nice as wind, but you know, hey, unless you're going Venetian, what else is going to be quite as nice as wind without an upgrade? So we'll see how everything goes here. All right, guys, but yeah, let's go ahead and hit that bed. Until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing off. And I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Let's go straight to the outro. Oof. Yes. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time I see you guys, I want to talk a little more about Circa, so look forward to some Circa highlights from the grand opening. Until next time, though. This is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys.